Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial of Mastering Arduino from beginner to core advanced. In this tutorial, after seeing the block diagram of the whole system, I want to discuss you about controlling a heavy motor with the help of a relay system. Here you can see that there are two relays. In the input of the relay, the center point are connected uh, to the motor while the two terminals which are shorted as follows are connected in parallel such as the point 1 is connected to point 1 of the similar and point 2 is connected to point 2 of the similar and each of the face is taken to a positive and negative sign that is showing that it is connected to a battery or a 12 volt power supply whenever the line switches the value of this icon goes from here to here and it will give a direction to the current and the current will flow in one direction and if we switch this relay this will go from here to here and it will give another direction for the motor so it will rotate in reverse direction Okay, let me show you an example here. First of all, open the Arduino and we have connected the relay on the pin number 4 and 5. So, first of all, I am going to call the pins. Say pin mode. Say pin number 4, pin number 5 as output. Okay, both the pins are set as output. Well, this is, was my design for the college project, but I found it very successful for running heavy motor even on the AC current. So, it is a very practical design that I have shown you here and you can get it in the PDF that I will be giving you in the beginning of the course. You can take it and you can make your own designs. Okay, let's just take a simple example. Say, uh, D-I-G-I-T-A-L-W-R-I-T-E, it's a digital write. Give two times because we have two sources and then give delay my mistake d e l a y delay say 2000 millisecond ok now i am going to copy everything and write it once again ok in the empty brackets write 4 5 same here write 4 5 say it high l o w low and it's reverse say it low and now say it high so that the motor can rotate in both the directions connect the arduino and upload the sketch i am uploading it just wait for a second it's uploading I think in the relay you can see the lights of the two relay that are this is a relay module you can buy it it is a simple module but it is very useful because it is only of about two or three dollars but it can work and four relay and I have connected them you can see here in uh, uh, the same way that the wire I told you to connect it the center points are taken to the motor while the alternates are connected to each other and given a power source here you can see the terminal let me check the motor wire once again it's not 5 it's 3 so I am going to correct it I am going to say it's 3 no problem 3 again 3 now I am going to upload it it's uploading you can see the both the lights of the relay are glowing and they are going over lows and highs simultaneously okay I am going to connect it to a power supply so that you can see the rotating of the motor See that you can rotate the heavy motor in both the direction. You can also use heavy motors. Uh, you can also use heavy motors of high rating such as 24 volt because the relay have very high capacity of power. It can sense up to 120 volt and 10 ampere. That is very high. And the, it is required for big motors. So the relay connection can be used for big motor, but the precaution should be taken that the circuit has to be checked one time before connecting it to a heavy motor. Okay, this was about the relay. In the next tutorial, we are going to connect the system with the help of a remote so that we can operate the motor in the both directions. The motor is an heavy voltage motor and it will be operated with the help of remote. Okay, let us give you let me give you a summary back to you. We have the relay diagram here. I have connected the center point to the motor. Here you can see here, and these are the built-in internal terminals that are connected like this in relays. These are the two external terminals that are used to given the circuit on and off value. So I have connected them in alternate values here. And one value selected here to positive volt and one other value selected to ground. By this method, whenever the switch is gone of any relay switched on, it will change its value and give the motor one direction of rotation, it can be clockwise and if another switch is on, then it will give the motor another value, it can be anti-clockwise. Well, this was the theory and we have made a small program here. You can see that 
relay one is switched on another is switched off so it will rotate in one direction it's uh, vice versa is done so that the motor can be rotated in another direction and it will rotate for two seconds let me show you once again here you can see that the rotation of a heavy motor here with the help of this relay method okay this was the introduction here okay if you have any question you can ask me or else thanks for watching